if you want to stop typing the same emails up over and over again, and you've got a lot of clients that you've got to touch in a short period of time, email templates, email sequencing, personalization, and scheduling emails can be really helpful for you. My name is Josh, I'm with Sales-CRM, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through building some email templates out in Sales-Dash and show you how you can get them to quick, quickly send emails and make sure that you're making as many touch points and activities as possible as you can within a given day. So let's just jump right into it. We are gonna pull three email templates in this video from a good old friendly business named HubSpot. And to start, we are going to start by actually opening up our email template here in the system. The first thing I wanna do actually is create an email signature. So I do it by clicking the pencil icon down here I'm just gonna say this is Josh from Sales-CRM. I'm gonna put my website down here. And then let's just do, this is just an example, but let's just do my info email. And save this so that it goes into every email. You can also include images, you can include hyperlinks if you really wanted to. So we're gonna start by adding a template. And so we're just gonna call this ET1 for email template one you'd want to name it based on, you know, if it was a follow-up proposal, all those kinds of different things. So um, let's jump over to HubSpot's website and see what they got here. So this was after a meeting and these are just general follow-ups. So they got a personalization factor here with the name. We're going to add the same thing and just copy the rest. So let's just call this, let's just make the email subject line follow-up. One of the things I've been realizing as I'm just kind of spitballing here, emojis have been found to be pretty helpful in subject lines and you want to keep subject lines pretty short and concise. Even two words can be really effective. So first I'm going to click this personalize button here. And from here I can personalize based on this different record pages from accounts, contacts and deals, but I'm contacting all my contacts. So I just want the first name of a contact to populate up in here. And I'm just gonna drag this over here. So that'll be the first thing and I save that. So there's my first email template. Simply put, if I wanna open up the email template, I just simply click ET1. It's gonna pop up Sarah's name here. Sarah, I'm writing the follow up. Not sure what our next step is. Let me know what makes sense for you as a next step, if anything's for your input. And I've got my email signature. So let's just say I wanna go ahead and create a second one. I'm going to jump back over to HubSpot just so I can show you this in repetition. Same thing. We'll copy and paste this. So we'll call this one ET2. Sarah, are you there? Let's add the first name for the contact. Let's go ahead and paste. Save that. So here's the thing, a lot of the times it can take anywhere from three to seven or eight, you know, some people go more than that in terms of the amount of emails that they're actually gonna send somebody for follow-up. You know, if you're selling a service-based business or even a product, multiple different follow-ups, especially if you have a lot of different features or value propositions, you can make sure that you're building out all those kinds of different email templates have a specific call to ask action. Make sure you're asking the right questions to see exactly what action may generate the responses for you. And it's gonna be one of those ways where you could test out all these email templates, see what gets you the most responses. You're gonna be able to see when people also open the emails, you'll get notifications for that. Um, and then lastly, again, you can build these into email sequences if you have all of your templates built out and you can go ahead and select the days from which those emails would go out and in what order they would actually go in from. So. Hope this video was helpful, but again, with the email templates, this is gonna be something for you to send the same emails if you're making them really repetitive so you don't have to type them out. And this is gonna help you drive more activity so that way you can touch more customers and overall grow and close more sales.